Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, we'll create the following interactive dashboard about customer personality analysis. Customer personality analysis is mainly about collecting information from customers by business in order to modify its products based on its target customers. It is based on what we call in marketing the four P's, which are product, place, price, and promotion. As you can see, we'll create the different charts like horizontal bar chart, donut charts, histograms, bar charts, and density charts based on data that we have in our data set. We'll also add two highlighters, which are marital status and education, which will allow us to analyze deeply our dashboard. For marital status, we can change the different categories, right? As you can see here. And same thing for education. So we have two charts that depend on education highlight. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. So you can find the link to this data set in the description. And as you can see here about the data set, so we have customer personality analysis is a detailed analysis of a company's ideal customers, right? It helps a business to better understand its customers and it makes it easier for them to modify products according to specific needs, behaviors, and concerns of different types of customers. So here we have an example. Instead of spending money to market new product to every customer in the company's database, a company can analyze which customer segment is most likely to buy the product and then market the product only on that particular segment. So mainly the target or the objective of this data set is to perform clustering to summarize customer segments. But in our case, we are going to use Tableau in order to analyze our data set and to create our dashboard. So for the content, as we have said, it is based on what you call in marketing the four P's, so which are people, products, promotion, and place. Here we have the different colors. So we have the ID, which is customer's unique identifier, year of birth, we have the education, is customer's education level then we have the marital status the income so customers yearly household income then we have number of children at home same thing we have number of teenagers then we have dt customer which is date of customers enrollment with the company we have recency and we have complaint so one if the customer complained in the last two years zero otherwise next for products we have six different columns so we have the amount spent on wine in the last two years. Same thing on fruits, meat, fish, sweets, and gold, right? So everything is based on the last two years. So for promotion, we have the first one, which is number of purchases made with a discount. Then we have six different campaigns. And the type of data is Boolean. So one, if the customer accepted the offer in the first campaign, zero otherwise. And for the response, same thing. It is the last campaign and one if the customer accepted the offer, zero otherwise. Next for the place, we have four different columns. So we have number of purchases made through the company's website, then using a catalog, directly in stores. And the last one is the number of visits to company's website in the last month. As I said, the target is to perform class train, but we are going to use it in order to create our dashboard. So now let's import our file in Tableau and start creating our dashboard. Once we have imported our file, which is marketing campaign, we can see that we have 29 columns or 29 fields and 2,240 rows. So here we have all the different columns that we have just seen, right? Now we are going to create our first worksheet. So we click on sheet one and we name it place with marital status right okay so we are going to drop major names into the filters we select none and we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for the different places so we have number of catalog purchases number of store purchases and number of web purchases we select apply okay we press control key and we drag and drop major names into the rows same thing, we drag and drop major values into the columns. We can sort that. We select entire view. 
and we drag and drop my the status into the color we can change the color so we click on color edit color and we are going to select jewel bright assign apply ok same thing we press ctrl key and we drag and drop your values into the label and like that we get our horizontal stacked bar chart for different places and marital stars now we are going to format our worksheet because we are going to duplicate that several times and we are not going to format that every time so we start from workbook we click on format workbook and we define here our fonts so for the worksheets we define bold black 8 for the titles we define bold black 11 we click on more so we remove all the grid lines we select off same thing for zero lines we select off for the axis rulers we select black and same thing for axis text we select black so like that when we create new worksheet this different options will be applied automatically same thing we are going to format our worksheet as we have said we are going to duplicate that several times so we double click on the axis we remove the title we click on color and we define the border as black same thing we right click format for the header we select the alignment in the center we add our borders so we put everything in black same thing for our divider and column divider right we double click on our title we put it in the center apply ok we right click on the title format title border in black and the shading in white we add our highlighter to do that we click on analysis highlighters and we add marital stars so click on the down icon in here edit title and we remove highlight okay so like that we get our worksheet formatted and we are going just to duplicate that we remove different fields and we create all the other worksheets next we are going to create another stacked bar chart for number of customers enrollment per month so we duplicate this worksheet and we name it number of customers enrollment per month okay so we remove everything so we drag and drop date customer into the column and we select month we right click hide field we drag and drop the id into the rows and we select count we click on automatic and we select bar and we drag and drop the marital status into the color we double click on this axis we remove the title we press ctrl key and we drag the count into the label we right click on the axis format and for the dates we select abbreviation so like that we get our bar chart for number of customers enrollment per month and marital status same thing we are going to create another stacked bar chart for number web visits per month and marital status so we duplicate this one right number web visits per month marital status okay so we remove the month from the columns and we drag and drop number web visits month into the columns and we get our stacked bar chart so here we have number web visits per month and marital status in the colors same thing we create another horizontal bar chart for the products and marital status so same thing right click duplicate we name it products marital status 
So same thing, we remove the number of visits per month from the columns. We drag and drop major names into the filters. We select none, and here we select our products. So we have the amount fish products, fruits, gold products, meat, and sweet, with also the wine. So we have six, apply, okay. So we remove the count, same thing in here, we remove the count. We press control key and we drag and drop major names into the rows and major values into the columns. We can sort that. We press control key and we drag and drop major values into the label. We double click on the axis and we remove value. And like that, we get our horizontal stacked bar chart for different products and marital styles. Next, we are going to create our donut charts. So duplicate this to have the same formatting, right? The first one, we call it complaints. Okay. So we remove everything. We create the calculated field. We name it total customers. So we are going to use LOD, what we call level of detail, and we are going to use fixed count ID. So what this means is that we are going to display the total customers, whatever we put, for example, in the filters. As you will see, if we use only count ID and we change our filters, so the value will change. But when we define fixed count ID, even though we use filters, the value stays the same. So I write apply, OK. We create another calculated field. We call it label. And it will be string. You write total off. Apply, OK. So we are going to convert complain into a dimension. You click on complain, aliases. So as we have said, if it is zero, it means no. If it is one, it means yes. Okay. We drag and drop complain into the color. Instead of bar, we select pi. We drag and drop the ID into the angle. And we select count. Same thing, we press control key, we drag and drop complain into text and count into label, same thing. We click on count, quick table calculation, and we select percent of total. Now we edit our colors. So if it is yes, we put it in red. If it is no, we put it in green. Apply, okay. So we double click on the rows, we write zero, okay. Press control key and we duplicate. We go to the second one, we remove everything. We click on color and we put it in white. We go to the first one, we increase the size. We click on the second sum and we select dual axis. So like that, we get our donut chart. We can right click on this axis, we remove the header. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to duplicate this seven times in order to create the remaining donut charts. But first, let's convert our measures into dimensions. So this one, convert to dimension. Same thing, convert to dimension. Convert to dimension. Fourth one. The fifth. And the last one, which is response. Let me just add a T in here. Now, when we add total of, as we have said, we have created total customers, we'll get the total customers, even though if we change the filters. But in the next donut charts, as you will see, when we change the filters, the count ID will change. So here we drag and drop the label that we have created into the label of the inner circle. And same thing, total customers into the label. So we are going to put it like that in the center. And now we are going to duplicate our sheet. So right click duplicate. We call it first campaign, right? 
and yes so we select only yes so we drag and drop accepted campaign one into the filters we select one apply okay so we remove some of total customers and we drag and drop the id into the label we select count as you can see here we have the value changed because we have selected our filter now what we are going to do is that we remove complain from the color complain from text and we drag and drop my status into the color we press control key and we drag and drop marital status into the label and we put the count after the marital status so like that to get our donut chart for the first campaign for people who said yes all right and we are going to do the same thing for the remaining campaigns so duplicate this one we we'll rename it instead of first we'll have second okay so we remove our filter and we add the second one apply okay we do the same thing for the third so duplicate we remove our filter we add the third one apply okay as you see the total is changing because we have not used fixed right we duplicate so we have the fourth campaign right we remove the third and we add the fourth apply ok duplicate so here we have the fifth we remove this one and we add the fifth one apply ok and the last one duplicate so we call it last which is response so we drag and drop response so we remove the first one and we drag and drop response we put it to one apply ok so like that we have created the donut charts for the campaigns now we create our last donut chart which is for purchases with discount so we duplicate right purchase with discount right okay so we remove the filter we remove the count same thing here and we drag and drop number of deals purchases into the angle we press control key and we add it to the label we click on it quick table calculation percent of total and same thing we remove count id from the second one and we drag and drop number deals purchases into the label so we have total of 5208 so like that we have created all the donut charts next we are going to create two horizontal bar charts one for the average income by market status and the second one the average income by education so we duplicate this worksheet and we write average income and first one is marital status okay so we remove everything remove same thing we remove we drag and drop marital status into the rows income into the column and we select the average we click on by we select bar we can sort that we press control key and we drag and drop the average into the label right click hide field label for rows double click on the axis we remove the title we can decrease the size so we click on the label format and on numbers we select currency custom okay we click on color and we select this color 
So here we have average income by marital status. We duplicate this one. And we will have the average income by education. Okay. So we remove marital status from the rows. And we add education into the rows. Same thing, we can decrease this size a little bit. And we change its color into green. We can sort that and we get our final horizontal bar chart. Next, we are going to create two histograms. One for people and age with marital status. And the second one is also for people and age with education. So we duplicate this one. We name it people by age and marital status, right? So we remove everything. We create a calculated field, we name it age. And it will be 2023 minus year of birth. Apply, okay. So we double click on age. We click on show me and we select the histogram. As you can see here, automatically the bins are created. We click on age bin, edit, and the size it will be five. Okay. Now we are going to edit our axis. So we remove bin. And as you can see here, we have only two values for 120 and the other one 130. So we can define fixed axis. Let's say it starts from 20 and it ends at 90. Okay, so we double click on this axis. We remove the title. Okay, and we drag and drop marital status into the colors. So here we have marital status into color. So like that, we have our first histogram for people by age and marital status. We can duplicate this. We'll have people by age and education. Okay. So we remove marital status from the color and we add education. We can change its color. So edit colors and we put winter. Assign, apply, okay. Same thing, we are going to add a highlighter that depends on education. We click on the highlighter, edit title, and we remove highlights. Okay, so like that, we have our histograms. Next, we are going to create two density charts. The first one is the number of kids at home and the marital status, and the second one, number of teenagers at home and the marital status. So duplicate this one. We name it kids at home and marital status. Okay. So we remove the count of age. We remove education. We drag and drop marital status into the rows. We select the entire view. We click on automatic and we select density. And we drag and drop kid home into the color. So we increase its size and we change its color into, let's say, density multicolor light. Okay, we can increase its intensity into 70%, and like that, we get our first density chart. We can duplicate this one and we will have teenagers at home, right. Okay, so we remove the sum of the kids and we replace it by teen home. Okay, so like that we get our second density chart. Now like that we have created all the worksheets. Let's create our dashboard. Let me just change the title in here. So, status, same thing in here. So we are going to 
remove the legends from different charts so keep this one and the remaining one, I'm going to remove that hide same thing in here we hide this one also same thing for this one Average income, average income. This one also. For education, we keep it. And like that, we click on new dashboard. We define our size, so 1850 and 1050. Okay. Click on dashboard format. Define it as yellow with intensity of 50% okay and now we drag and drop our sheets so we start from the place then we have the number right after that we have the products and here we have web visits right next we will have the on the charts right so one first Wait a second, third, so I have here fourth, fifth, last, and purchases, right? Okay, so for the highlighter, so for the legend, I will put it in floating, and the highlighter, I put it here on the top, all right. Well, the status I put it inside here for the remaining I put them like that same thing for this and also for this one then we are going to add the average income in here same thing for this one then we have the histograms and we have the density charts okay so like that we have added all the worksheets now i'm going to adjust the sizes right this one same thing we put it as floating put it inside this histogram okay so the highlighter put it like that this one in the center okay this all right so here this one I'll put it like that same thing for this one like this Okay. This one like this in here. Same thing for this one. And also just want to put it in the center like that. I want to decrease this one. And same thing in here. Okay, so we just move this one in the center all right so for this one i will remove the title put it inside format so the border it will be in black okay same thing for this one i remove the title put it in the center
format and the border same thing in black okay so like that we have all our charts now what we are going to do is that we are going to add the padding and also the borders okay so you select for example the first one layout and the padding we put it as six same thing we add border for the highlighter we put the same thing border and padding we put it also as six and we are going to do that for all the charts right six and border in black same thing for this one and the border the padding it will be six so again we just to format the highlighters so the alignment in the center and the border in black same thing for this one so it will be in the center and the border in black okay now we continue with the borders and the padding same thing six for this one border six border and six so continue with all the charts We add also for the donor charts, same thing. So we have border and also padding, right? Padding six. Have the padding, right? like six and the last one order and padding we have six okay now if we select presentation view we get our final dashboard so if we use highlighter we get the different values And same thing for education. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.